Hello, welcome back to this channel or welcome to this channel. My name is Jackie and today I have my 2022 Hobonichi haul and I don't even need my intro because it's Hobonichi day and I'm just super excited to share with you what I got in these pink boxes. I already have a Hobonichi haul that I will leave up here and down in the description box but this is the first one and hopefully the only one from the official website this year so it's always more exciting. Also, I need to mention again that you don't need to buy anything at all to be part of the community. This is just something I save all year long to buy during Hobonichi season. So please don't compare yourself to others and you don't really need any particular planner or notebook or anything at all to be part of the community. I would also love if you'd consider subscribing. If you are not a subscriber yet, it really means a lot to me and you can always change your mind later. But now let's get started. Okay, so here's how this is going to go. First, let me just mention something that everybody is wondering about. Yes, my order came inside the white bag, but the boxes are still kind of beat up more than in previous years, but it came inside the bag. And that's just because I have two boxes and some loose items that I will share with you very soon. This is going to be a haul, but it is a chatty one where I will be sharing with you my first reaction and my thoughts about everything everything that I got. I have accessories, covers, notebooks, pens, all of that. So it's going to be super long. I will try to add some timestamps down below so you can just jump around and I will start with the loose items that came. Then I will just choose a box and start opening. So it's going to be a little bit messy, but I think it's more fun that way. So it's really like we are hanging out opening our goodies. So let's get started. So these are the first two things that came outside the box. So they came inside the bag and it is the first time I actually that I got items outside a box so it's interesting so let me just take them out of the plastics so I can share without all the plastic noises okay so I decided to grab one of their gift bags just because it's so pretty and I kind of want to leave some items to open on November on my birthday. I think it will be fun and it's also super pretty and of course you can use it more than once and I intend to use to carry my planner or my journal around and it's super cute. And here in the detail it says happy nothing special day but it also says happy something special day too and I think that's so cute and true and today is something special day so yeah that's just the plain bag and this is in the large size so it's a pretty decent size and i think i will be able to fit a lot of stuff in here then i also got these stickers they come in this little box right here they are just the day adventure or something adventure it's also the same design as the day free and also they had a cover this year with these little doodles and i just think it's super cute but it's less stickers than i thought it would be so um yeah it was not that expensive but i was kind of hoping for more stickers but it's still cute Next, I have the freebies for this year, which are the Not Scary Bear Spoon. And to be honest, I was kind of hoping I was going to get one of each design because they have three designs. Uh, the spoon is the same, but the card is different. And I got four different books that uh, had the freebie with them, but they sent me all the same but that's okay because this was my favorite design so i'm not mad about that it's super cute this is the freebie it is like a little charm or a little key thing that you can add to your whatever you want and i will add mine to my journal so i love it i love not scary bear so much okay it's time to choose one of the boxes oh this one is heavier let's go with this one oh okay so this is super exciting this is the box it's beautiful pink and this kind of blue or navy okay it's time to open it up oh i already see animal crossing stuff so i'm already happy Okay, let me take everything out of the box so I can share it with you. Okay, so more freebies and I got, oh my God, one, two, three, four, seven, seven of the free pens. 
um, because I guess I got a lot of books. They are not all for me. Don't worry about it. But I just love the Hobonichi pen so much. And I love the color, this mint color for this year. So let me take off the plastic. There you go. This is the pen of this year. And I think it will go quite nice with the Animal Crossing cover. And you have three colors and all of that. So I got seven of those. So I guess we are starting with accessories. Okay, first I have my weekly supplement. Uh, which is just a weekly overview for the A6 and this is for 2022 and I will probably use this whenever I need to time block for work and it is just the same for over all the past years. So if you want a more detailed video about the weekly supplement, I can film it for you, but it's very simple. You just have uh, all the weekly layout. It's kind of what the cousin was before. You even have the check boxes here up top, but in A6 format, and it's actually smaller than A6. Next, I got one of the sticky notes, and this one is the creatures one, and it comes with four different types or styles or designs of sticky notes, and I just love using these on my journal. So yeah, they are pretty cute. Next, we have pencil boards, and I have three for the sticks and one for the cousin. So I got just one of the plain ones, the colors for this year, which are navy and pink. I see it. Okay, it's navy, but it's kind of grayish, but it's pretty. I love it. And I love this shade of pink. Then I got one of the photographers that made one of the covers for this year, the footprint covers. And I don't remember the name, so I will write it up here. I'm sorry about that. But it's just like this snowy day photo and it's really pretty. And the back is just plain. Of course, I got the Animal Crossing pencil boards and they are just so cute. I got one for the cousin or the A5 size and one for the A6. And this is how they look on the front and at the back. Oh my God, this makes me so happy. You have no idea. I still love this game. It's so pretty. Oh my God, look at Raymond. Oh, I love this so much. I also got one of the preppy fountain pens. This is for Philip, so it's not for me. It was very cheap on the Hobonichi website and I think he will appreciate it and he will enjoy. So it's just a simple uh, fountain pen, very, very cheap. Oh, we have a cover here. Okay, so I got the cover on cover, the design for this year, and this is the A5 size. I know it's sold out, so I'm really glad I was able to grab one. I won't take it out of the plastic because I like taking it off when I'm setting up my notebook, but it's so pretty. I love the horse. I really love the design and all of the details. I wish they had a cover with this design. I would definitely get it. It's so pretty and it's even prettier in person. And I got one for each size. So it's probably on the other box. So you will see this again. Next we have, I think all of my books or most of my books in here. So let me just share with you what I got. Okay, so for the A5 size, I got a Hobonichi Day Free and also one of the notebooks with the same design as the cover on cover. I just could not resist. And I was thinking about using this as my work combo. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I still have time to decide, but I think it will look super nice and it will be a nice way to kind of keep a more structured planner with a bullet journal system. But I also got a Hobonichi cousin from one of the European resellers. So you already know I like to have a Hobonichi cousin just in standby in case I want to use it for work. And that's pretty exciting. I also got one of those notebooks in A6 because they are just so cute. I just cannot resist them. And then I have two of the planners, which are the English version. And this is one for me and one for my fiance. Then I have my Hobonichi original of back. And this is what I will be using as my main or my creative or my everyday journal. And I'm so excited. I decided to go with the back because I want to make it super chunky and end the year with two chunky Hobonichis because because you know I love that. Okay, we have more stuff in this first box. So we have the only cousin cover that I got. 
So let me take it out of the plastic so I can share it with you. Oh my God, it's so pretty. So as I was going to use, or as I usually use the Hobonichi Cousin or the A5 as my work planner, I thought this was going to be just a very professional and very classic uh, cover to use. And I'm really glad I got one. This is called Glen Plaid, if I'm not mistaken. And it also has that back pocket that you know I love. Inside is just black. The material, it's tricky it's not like your regular hobonichi cover but it does resembles the regular hobonichi cover more than just like a fabric uh, but i think it is a fabric they are calling a shirt fabric or something it's really pretty i love that it is black inside it's all black or all neutral and the bookmarks are also both just simple black and oh my god it looks like cotton inside I'm not sure, uh, but it's different. The inside feels different from the regular Hobonichi cover as well. But I'm really glad with this one. I'm glad. Okay, so the first one is already a win. I'm really loving this cover. That's it. We are halfway through. It's time to bring the next box. It's not as heavy as the first one. And this one is really beat up because you can see it right here. And also look at this. I'm glad it was inside the white bag because what a journey. I think all of my A6, no, all of my A6 covers are in here because we haven't unboxed any of the A6 covers yet. So you can see this box is just, she went through a lot. Okay, taking everything out of the box, you already have some spoilers in here and let's start opening everything. So first I have all the other covers on covers I got. So as I already told you, I got that same design for this year for the cousin, the weeks, and the A6 size because I think it's one of my favorites of all times uh, besides the rainy day one because I love rain. But it's just so pretty and I will probably use it in all of my Hobonichi covers. Then I got one of 2021, which is the Eric one, because I don't know why I did not have one for the A6 size and I really, really wanted one, so I just got it. And this one is even uh, older, but it was on their website, so I decided to add because I love like this forest and the animals and the bird, and I think it would be a great cover on cover for winter, so I decided to grab one of those as well. More accessories, I got one of the Reflect buttons, this one with the cat, and let me open it up so you can see it better. This is just so pretty. Look at the cat looking at the mirror. I hope you can see it it's so pretty i have the one from last year or this year as well and i just like using them on my traveler's notebooks they are just super cute and this is how they look at the back so you can have an idea of how to attach them in the books or the traveler's notebooks or the planners that you have i also got this washi tape set because it's super cute and i love the idea that is based on a pastry shop that it that is near uh, where the Hobonichi store and office is right now so let me just open them so you can see how they look of course I'm adding this to my current Hobonichi this is how they look so you have that same design with the name of the little pastry shop uh, so it will go really well with the cover if you got one spoiler alert I did get one so you will see very soon and the other one is just this beautiful blue and white pattern that kind of looks like candy so it's really really pretty I'm really glad I got those oh my god we have two more Ace six books in here we have the original one which is the full year japanese version not english version and also the day free this usually is my social media planner or youtube planner and this one i always alternate between using it as my main journal or just for work next the hobonichi weeks that i chose this year is this one this is the washoi i hope i'm pronouncing it right and it is one of the bow and tie wigs so oh it came protected that's nice that's interesting so it has one of the little booklets that we already saw on my previous video and oh my god how i've missed 
the bow and tie texture. It's really pretty. You have the 2022 here in silver and also here in the spine and you have all the little Japanese masks and oh my god I'm not sure because I also got one from an European seller and I will share it with you if I can find it. I also have this one which is the little lace one. This is how it looks and both are so pretty. Usually I do use two Hobonichi wigs but I was intending on gifting this one to a friend but then I fell in love with it so now I'm not sure. So I guess I'm not gifting this one anymore more but look how shiny it is so it's super super pretty so i'm not sure which one is going to be my main hobonich wigs we will have to see now it's time to go to all the a6 covers and i will try to take them out of the plastic without looking too much at them so i can share my first impressions with you so this is the first one it is the dreamy soda and it's so pretty this is one of those uh, the more basic hobonichi covers and i just love having it at least one each year just to later on storage my journal at the end of the year and kind of have them in like a cover from that same year but the other covers you know I just keep changing according to the seasons and all of that so it is exciting and I'm really glad I got this one. Next we have I believe my favorite from this year and I'm postponing like turning it around but this is the count the lights and oh my god the colors are even prettier in person i'm so excited i just love this it reminds me of sunset in my small town in brazil so i'm so glad i got this one and it was the one that called me the most and i just love it so much i think it will probably i will probably change to it before 2022 let's be honest i won't be able to wait i just love all the colors and i love everything and the inside is so pretty because you have a black cover with those pops of colors in here and you have the lights here in this pocket and the bookmarks are in this beautiful light baby blue and I just think it's super pretty and you even have a card here telling you about the design okay so super pretty next we have Ooh, this is the cat over Kanda. And this was actually a gift from my fiance. Each year he chose this, like one of the covers to gift me. Last year was the mother tree cover. And oh my God, you can even see like the cat's fur. So it's really interesting. And I just love uh, the drawing of the of Kanda and of the city right here and the huge cat jumping around. And that's what draw him to this particular cover. And the inside is very neutral and very, very simple. This is what the bookmarks look like. And each one is a different shade. It's a different color. And wow, it's such a beautiful cover. I think it will probably be the cover that I will start my vintage journal on because it's, it's perfect. I love it. Beautiful. Next we have, oh, the dog and pussycat cover and oh my god I love the texture it's the same texture as the Shakespeare one if you know which one I'm talking about and I just love all the covers that are kind of books so you have here the spine so it really does resemble a book and I just love how nostalgic and how simple the design feels I love the colors I love that you have that back pocket you have the doggy and the pussycat right here and you even have design on the back pocket so that for me is just details that I just love and this cover it's super pretty I love the smell so much uh, and this is how it looks on the inside. You also have the little decorated pocket right here and these are the bookmarks. They are in this orange color, really, really pretty. Oh, I absolutely love this. Oh, this is one of those that I didn't thought it was going to be my favorite, but it probably will end up being one of my favorites from the year lineup because it's really, really pretty. I love it. 
Next, we have this little one, which is called, shall we have some tea or something like that? And this is the one that goes with the washi tape that I showed you before. And the reason I love this is because it just reminds me of when I was visiting Paris with my mom and we were just having fun. And I don't know, I just think it will be perfect for my kawaii journal as well. It's not a style that you would probably see me um, grabbing into it, but I don't know. There's something about it that I just love it. It reminds me of great times in Paris and I think it will be the perfect kawaii journal cover at least for half of the year. And this is how it looks on the inside. I love these strips right here. I love this beautiful blue color. It's very happy. It's very bright. I just love that. The bookmarks are like blue and pink. And you have the little pastry shop. And now I feel like I need to go to Kanda to just grab one of their strawberry shortcakes because I saw them on Rainbow Holic video, on Kyla's video, and they look amazing. And last but not least, we have Animal Crossing. And of course, they are my favorite. I just, <laughs> I don't even need to think about it because... I love Animal Crossing. This game just means a lot to me and I just could not resist having the covers in both A5 and A6 size. The A5 I got from an European reseller, so I'm already using it for my uh, random journal. So I already saw it and it's perfect. I just love everything about it. I love the colors. I love everything. And in the A6 size is even cuter if that's possible and a lot of people thought that uh, the a5 was better and maybe it is because you can see everything bigger but i just think the a6 is super cute and this is going to be the other cover that i'm going to use for my kawaii journal for half of the year so it's just it's perfect and this is how it looks on the inside it comes with two sheets of stickers they are all the same. You have some characters, you have icons, and you even have the birthday cupcakes from the game and the pitfall seeds. That's just amazing. I just love it so much. And the bookmarks are the two little leaves. And oh, this game, this cover is just perfect. I knew it was coming when I saw the preview, like the design for the preview calendar. I thought they are not going to do this with me. They are not putting an island there without coming with a New Horizons cover. So I'm really glad they did and I'm really glad I got to get both of them for both sizes. So here's how they look if you want to kind of compare the two. They are perfect and I, I actually really love the A6 size. It's so cute seeing the villagers this tiny. It's just so sweet. I just love them so much. But they do look better printed in the cousin if I need to be more like picky and <laughs> I don't know, more critical, but they are both amazing. I absolutely love them. So that's it. That's the biggest haul I had from Hobonichi. I'm really excited about it. Thank you so much for being here with me for another year and sharing the excitement. And I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.